So we're talking about SB 18, uh, the Children's Bill of Rights, the bill that forces government into your household to monitor and measure what kind of a parent you are to your kids. And it's authored by Dr. Pan. Dr. Pan's the same author that gave us SB 277. And while at first blush it sounds terrific because we all agree that our children should have clean air, clean water, the best nutrition, outstanding education. We think our, ki our kids deserve the best health care. And we're right, they do. But this bill goes way beyond it. SB 18 sets a standard that all parents will be judged by. And I don't believe it's the state's role to wedge themselves in between that, that parental child uh, relationship. By setting those bars, they're going to judge us on what we feed our children, the medical care that we give our children. They'll be judging us on what we have in our house, how we go about our business. That's wrong. It's our children. It's our choice. And we should have the right to raise our own children. And yet the state is trying to stick its nose. Uh, into our business and mandate what we should and should not do and measure us by the standard that they create. These are our children. They deserve our hard work and our protection. So it's really important that you connect with your legislator to make sure he understands how fundamentally it's wrong to put the state in between your relationship with your child by forcing the state into your home, into your life, where it has no business being. When thinking about legislators, one of the things that you should know is every state senator in California represents roughly a million people. So they get a lot of comments from a lot of their constituents. Just think, if 10% of them send them a letter, that's 100,000 people. When you're contacting your legislator, you want to be polite. You want to be concise. You want to personalize the note that you send them. You can send a form letter, and it's good, but it's never as good as that uh, a note that you put your feelings on because that emotional difference makes a difference to the reader. Also taking into consideration how that legislator thinks. Read their website, read what they're about, and look for those areas that you connect with them. But let's talk a moment about social media and how social media works. You want to influence your legislator. You want to encourage your legislator. So always be polite. Never bully. Don't put a cap on your effort to outreach. Remember the squeaky wheel gets the grease, but it's got to be polite. Don't give them an excuse to ban you from their social media because you were spamming or bullying. So remember, no bullying, don't set, use profanities, always be polite, and always take the bright side of why it's in their best interest and all their constituents' best interest to defeat this bill. If you go to my Facebook page, and you'll see the stuff rolling out, you'll be part of it. If you sign on to Twitter, we'll be notifying you. I encourage you to do both, plus I have a petition uh, opposing SB 18. I'd ask that you sign it if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to working with you because together we can change California for the better.